Hey everybody, it's me, Bo Shevisu. Today we are coming to you from square one with this Black & Decker iron. We're actually going to be filling it up and also testing from this being completely cold. And we're going to see how long this actually takes to heat up. We will be ironing this fantastic National Park survival scarf. Not only is it bright orange for signaling emergency personnel, but it also has a map printed. So you can find these all over Amazon. Pretty darn cool. If there's a popular National Park near you, it's lightweight. It protects you from the sun. It's basically a multi-tool, except also it has an emergency reference map on it. But anyway, back to the iron. We're gonna go ahead and turn on our water right there. And you'll see that the water goes right in here. And we're gonna do that. All right, let's take a look at the water level. It's about halfway. Wow, that, that takes a lot of water. That's actually pretty surprising. We're gonna go ahead and clip that shut like so. Let's do, let's kind of shake it off a little bit like that. And let's actually do a water test to see how much actually leaks out. Oh, actually I thought, I thought I'd be dripping at this point, but oh, wait, wait, a small little dribble. Now, obviously you're not gonna put your iron like that. You're gonna put it like that, but I just wanted to see that. Let's go ahead and bring it on over here. We're gonna make sure it's relatively dry, even though that does appear to be watertight, because of course, you don't want any kind of electrical near water. All right, we look good though. Let's go ahead and remove the little safety cap right here. There we go. And see if it is active, and it is as indicated by that red light. As you can see, we are on, oh, about low medium level right there. And you can also adjust the amount of steam coming out. That says no steam. We want it just to be all oh, about right in the middle, like so. Oh, and if you take a listen to it, it is starting to burble already. Wow. Okay, that's been less than 30 seconds. That's fantastic. And if we were to go ahead and look at some of these features right here, very, very smooth, nice. We don't want any kind of divots or anything in there. Otherwise, that will. Oh and we're ready to go. Wow, less than 60 seconds. Let's go ahead and turn it over like so. Oh boy, that seems like a lot of water just pumped out right there. Did I fill it up too much? Let's see if water comes out again. Nope, looks like just the first time water dribbled out. So keep that in mind. First time, water may dribble out. All right, let's go ahead, give this a try. Ooh, that, oh, okay, okay, that is nice so far. Wow and pop it up. Wow, in less than 90 seconds, I'm going from plugging in to ironing. That is fast, really fast. Let's go ahead and try the actual steam function right here. There it goes. Awesome, very cool. All right, now obviously I put way too much water in there. I really just kind of wanted to push it to its max. Uh, but the nice thing about these scarves is that they're very, very forgiving. It's basically thin, lightweight cotton that easily soaks up water. So if you are getting heat exhaustion, you can put water on there and drape this around your neck. Let's go ahead and try to see if we can get rid of some of those wrinkles, shall we? And let's go ahead and push it to that corner, pushing it to that corner. Of course, I am doing this with one hand, so obviously you'd probably have two hands on it and gently like so rotate all the way around and there are some severe wrinkles which by the way i i washed this scarf this um bandana and i basically crumpled it up to to let it dry to try to get as much wrinkles in this as possible so odds are you're probably not going to have this many wrinkles in there oh looks like it's flashing that's that appears to be a safety feature and it immediately turned off. So in the event that this fell over, that would automatically turn off. That's cool. I think there's too much steam. So let's go ahead and adjust it like so. And maybe we'll even adjust it like right there. Minimum steam. Well, actually, let's, let's pump it up. There we go. See, that's pretty easy to adjust. That is very cool. Wow. All right. There we go. Quick down and dirty demonstration from square one of this Black & Decker. Wow, there are a lot of features on this. What's this auto clean feature? Let's see what happens. Whoa, 
Oh, it just popped out right there. That is cool. So I guess if it gets clogged for some reason, did you see that? That is just a neat feature. Okay, there we go. Hey, hope this helps, guys.